Uh, the year must have been 1937. I was five years old and I went to kindergarten, of which I have a picture. I am in the knitted dress. Mother knitted it for me. It was light blue and I had ringlets in my hair and of course always and nice uh, ribbons in it and so we, we had a picture taken and it must have been winter because everybody was in a dark dress and very heavily dressed I would say and I'm the only one that is in a lighter dress in the picture because it is black and white. Next to me are two Jewish children of which, with which I played, Mika and Sarah Philipson. In the picture you can see we held hands. In 1937 we did not know what laid ahead of us. It was depression years of course, in the Netherlands as well as in America. We, uh, we had no idea really as children and we were merrily going our ways and little did we know that Sarah and Rika in 1942 both died in Auschwitz. Being Jewish they were sent there on November 1942 very tragically and you can see that we're holding hands and we spiritually are together now. As a monument to them, I started to research my own town and put all the Jewish families together. And then I didn't really know what to do with it. So I contacted somebody in Israel and now I am very involved in doing research in the three northern, or four northern provinces rather. And I have, as of today, 14,000 family group sheets that are all have gone to Israel. And they are very happy with me that I have done so much work because there are generations that have just vanished and they can't put them together otherwise. In 1939-1940, it was in the mobilization of the Dutch soldiers. The Dutch soldiers were in town. And so therefore, uh, I was eight, nine years old, eight. And uh, the soldiers very much missed their own children. So when I came out to skate, they would, I would sit on the side of a low, boat that was still in the canal when it was frozen over then they would say can I help you and they would put they would tie my skates on and my my skates were like like this I brought them from the Netherlands they were my father's skates but at some point point there was a, a gentleman that fell and my dad said I dare not skate anymore so here you have them and these these, uh, the, the irons were thinner than some of them. These are racing skates. I never did fancy skating, I always raced, being fast as I always am. So the soldiers would say to me, can I help you? And of course I would like that because they would tie it very tight on my uh, boots that you had to wear with it. And so then they said, do you want to skate with us? And of course I would. And so then you saw five soldiers in a row with one hand on their back, laying up hands. And then at the end of that row was a little girl, me. And so I learned to skate very well because of them, because I tried desperately to keep up with them.